money tag and i don't know if they were sending this mail to somebody else but they actually referenced okay but so i think this email is actually directed to me so for contest you can look at it over here this is directly from money tag campaign at moneytag.com and to okay but at gmail because this is our account if you're sending us any email that has to do with um partnership collaboration you send it to okay but at gmail.com so this is from money tag you can see the email over here so i'm going to read the content of the email for you although you can see it but let me let's read that long so i'm going to zoom in a bit again just so it's um kind of you know a bit more vivid for us to read together so let me expand this okay hi you okay but i hope you're doing great i came across your youtube channel and thought you might be a perfect fit for a video um collaboration we are running this quarter we are currently promoting money tag a global platform that helps publishers monetize their traffic from website blog or social media the topic aligns with the con with your content on monetization here's the deal you create a five to eight minutes video based on a script or topic we provide you can add your own style publish it on your channel we provide all the materials plus links payment sent af right after approval crypto sorry paypal crypto wire transfer uh, whatever best for you let me know if you're interested and i will send over the brief and example topics would would love to work with you would love to look, work with you best so this is coming in from money tag okay so this message came in uh, within the period i wasn't available because i'm currently unavailable but i'm just kind of uh, putting myself to make this video because i don't know if i don't do it now i might not be able to do it again falsely money tag do you guys know who you're reaching out to this is somebody who breaks system for a living but then it still makes me feel like i am not the only bad person let me explain what I mean by I'm not the only bad person. And I'm not supposed to be making this kind of video, but I kind of see people talk about, uh, don't you think it's a bad reputation for you when you make YouTube videos and you talk about how you break into systems? You talk about how you earn money from Google AdSense and you earn money from Astera using proxies and browser simulation. Don't you think those things are bad? Don't you think they give you like a bad name or a bad stigma or something like that? Now, when I hear things like that i'm like what you people don't know is this when i show you how i'm able to beat all the systems it becomes interesting it becomes interesting because there are people in those companies whose job is to look for people who beat their systems and reach out to them so it's just like um now I'm actually showing you how to simulate browsers, how to use OKEG bots with good proxies to generate money from Astera. Do you think they don't see all those videos? So now there are two things they could do. They could decide right now to reach out to me and understand what I'm doing or get my software, try to see if they can break into the source code and get a copy. But I don't think they can actually stop any of that from working because I kind of simulate the browsers to be like real human beings. So there is nothing they can do. Like they're just powerless at this particular point in time. Even me myself, I cannot. If they employ me today to help them fight against the cake, but I cannot do it. You know, when you have created something that is so realistic that even you yourself, if they put you now and say, we're paying you, Daniel Kek, come here. We want to pay you Daniel Kek some money. So your own job right now is to um create softwares create scripts that'll be able to detect a bot chairman i cannot do it why not because i can't do it not because i don't want to do it but because i've created my software in such a way that it beats every detection i said there's a new one they want to do which is where there's a problem i'm always following up all the google chrome in fact the latest google chrome now is google chrome one uh, 139 if i'm not mistaken so that's the latest one now google chrome latest version is 139 ah no, 139 is beta. 138 is the available one. So let's head over to... Let me zoom in. Let's head over to um, the official release um, page. I think it's this one. Chrome releases. Let's go to Chrome releases. Okay, so as of July 21st, if I'm not mistaken, 
they released the beta or 23rd she not 23rd no he 24th or 20th i think it's 22nd though they released the beta 139 let me scroll down and this is the 23rd you can see it that's to show you i'm a, i'm like i'm always on board like this 147 in the, in the next few days i'll crack it again like i head over to github i fuck the i've already fucked the project so i clone um whatever i pull rather because i already have a clone version i pull whatever projects uh whatever updates google chrome has done because google has an official um chrome page so i i you know pull whatever um, changes they've done so far most of their code are in python and i try to find anything any discrepancy so most times uh it's plain there on github they tell you specifically this were the sorry this were the i'm sh i should be at chromium i use chromium so these are the okay now they've updated two two minutes ago right two minutes ago now what i will usually do now is i'll come here and i'll start looking at the commits if you're a software developer you understand what i'm trying to say if you're not a software developer everything i'm saying right now will sound like nonsense to you so i'll go through the code and i was trying to look for what are they using now to detect a real user from people who do puppet because when you use puppet which is what we built um okay bot on right puppet by default has a browser which is a chromium browser but this one is very vulnerable right so there is a browser that comes with puppet but it's very vulnerable the the browser is not good like if you use it no matter how you write your scripts they will catch you like they will catch you there's no way you can you can do it so the second thing you will do is that you would now use what we call executable parts executable parts is like I, i'm i'm using the words of developers i don't know if people understand what i'm trying to say but developers will be able to understand if you're a software developer executable part on puppeteer is like trying to use a custom puppeteer like a customized puppeteer sorry a chrome like your own version of chrome not a customized puppeteer uh, executable part on puppeteer is using another chrome like let's say you have a google chrome browser and you don't want to use the browser that comes with puppeteer because puppeteer has its own browser but there are lots of loopholes on it so many loopholes i wish i had the time i would have been able to show you how that works but in a nutshell when you use the browser that comes with puppeteer anything you simulate be rest assured that they will ban you especially google adsense google, google knows what is real and what is false so that's because the one that they did for puppeteer they did not really try to make it look like a human being at every cost because it was not really their primary goal their primary goal was to automate something so once they've done that automation they, they've already achieved their aim right so trying to make it bypass all detection system it's not it was not what it was intended for uh, and they, they feel like if you're automating you should automate ethically ethically means automate it where you have permission you don't go to a website that says we don't want you to script our information using uh, browser scrapers like um, playwright puppeteer you know selling normal of them so there are some websites don't want you to script so if they say they don't want you to script there are already some checks they can use to check if you are a scraper or a web scraper or a web automation too so if you are they will ban you so puppeteer itself they know that they want you to script only where you have access to so they will not actually let you to script places you don't have access to so that that's why by default puppeteer doesn't really have the browser that comes with puppeteer rather doesn't really have all those you know things to make it look as legit as possible in it right now your original chrome the one you download which is your normal chrome the normal chrome you download right the google chrome you download now the problem with the google chrome you download is that when you use it it can actually show as legit like it's it's actually legit when you use it the problem is that you're downloading it for mac os and most of the time you want to pretend to be iphone you want to pretend to be windows so what you might do at the upper layer is to start changing your scripts changing your user agent changing your navigator trying to tweak it on the javascript code now no matter how you try to tweak from um java from uh, javascript which is playwright it puppeteer I, I work with all of them sorry no matter how you try to um change your code from the puppeteer itself which is from the, your project itself you can try to bypass as much as possible but the browser itself would show what we call a kernel so in case you don't know what it means let me show you an example um browser kernel leaks os now what this means is that you can pretend to be um ah, am i effective detection memory leak no um browser let me browser let me puppeteer browser leaks 
OS as Linux. Let me use an example now to show you what I mean. Uh, this is when Pop-Up leaks OS as Linux. The first potential issue where underlying Chrome non browser control by potential mathematical review or leak indicating running OS. Good. What this simply means now is that it would still leak that you're using a Mac. Oh. Like you're using a Mac. You're using a Windows computer. So over the period of time, Google AdSense will allow you to make money. So you're going to be happy thinking everything is going well. At the end of the month, they'll tell you, uh, sorry, we cannot expose why we are banning you now. But just know that you've, you fucked up. You've, uh, you, you, you violated our policy. So the original Chrome has loopholes. Not like it's a loophole. It's, it's, it's genuine. It's telling you that, come, see who I build. The puppeteer own still shows who you be, but it still has even more to show that I am puppeteer. So what I did was to actually hide over the source code. I know both the Android Chromium. That is how I did it. It's not something I want to explain on this video, but I'm able to bypass every single detection. So this is why every month I aim. So let me show you an example now, for instance. Now, for instance, now, let me show you an example. This is my um, account. This is my Gmail, one of my Gmail accounts. Now, this one now is danielkek at gmail.com. You can see my email over here, right? So now I'm going to head over to my mail.google.com. So this is my email, like, right? So I'm going to head over to 21st. This is the 21st. Now, Google AdSense paid me on the 21st. That means I am still getting paid. Let me show you. Let me, let me make you understand what I'm saying. Look at it. No reply at google.com. So I got paid by Google AdSense, right? I've also made some withdrawals. I've been able to withdraw some of my money over here. I uh, wouldn't want to start opening my uh, bank information and all that. But I've been paid and I've also withdrawn. So Google paid me on the 21st. I got the money on the 22nd or 3rd. Is it 22nd? I think it was on the 23rd I received my money. It was this one. This one over here. I don't want to open it. But on the 23rd... Um, which is two days after Google paid me, the money dropped on my GTB account. Now, why is Google paying me despite everything? It's because Google doesn't even really know if I'm a human being. Like, if they watch my video right now and they go back to the table, they will still see things that look organic because my browsers are making research like normal human beings. They can be pinged their whole lot. So, back to money tag. Money tag, do you people know who you're reaching out to? And I even find something very, very insulting here. Yeah. Like, especially where they said you create a five to eight minutes video based on a script or topic we provide. Good. You're providing me the scripts, right? But look at the second one that I feel is insulting. Publish it on your channel. We will provide all the materials and links. It's fine, oh. But when, when I'm not seeing, like, payments sent right after approval, wait, oh, are you telling me right now I don't know for other influence. Influencers, please reply me. Is this how it works? Because I know to an extent I've not had time. I, I get prosy companies. They reach out to me all the time. I'm always seeing so many people, so many prosy. Oh, where this prosy? Oh, where that prosy? You know, um, pro from prosy seller. Partnership inquiry from prosy seller. I see all of them all the time. My name is, I can see this one. I don't know who this one is, but he says he, this email is for people who want to do partnership. I'm not supposed to be showing confidential e messages anyway, but um, I mean, that's me. I, I, I'm kind of blunt to an extent. Okay, so hello, Craig, but my name is Atim. I'm an affiliate manager at Process Seller website, Reliable, blah, 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 blah. I've not even replied him, so I'm supposed to reply him. He sent this one on the June 10th. Um, I think I saw some other person sent a prosy. I think it's something like, um, is it not? Is it Marv? Somebody sent a pros, something like prosy. Is it VPN? No, it's not VPN. It's prosy. I'm trying to look for the name of the company. Another company sent. Uh, I've seen lots of them. They'll come in and they'll send me like different. Oh, we have prosy. We do prosy. Um, prosy. Ah, maybe it's not this email. I see them all the time. Oh, like all the time. Okay, let me see this one. Okay, this one is Nord Marvin. I think Nord Marvin is a VPN. Let me check it out. It's a VPN versus Prozy. A uh hen. -huh. So let me be backing up everything I'm saying with my own proof. Uh -huh. So you can see that, you know, I get people reach out to me all the time. I don't even reply you. Like even this, I don't even I don't even have time, self. Like now we get time.